Good morning. So I'm just going to go pick up my mother who lives an hour away. She's going to stay over for a couple days um, and help out with the baby and we're going to go shopping. Uh, I stopped at Starbucks. Okay. I, I'm like a stereotypical mom. Um, anytime I'm like, okay, husband, can you take the baby? I, I got to go do something. First thing I do when I exit the house, I'm like, okay, Starbucks, Starbucks, stop. Like, where's the Starbucks? And then I get myself a, you know, frappe chapa, whatever. Um, and yeah, so I'm at Starbucks. Uh, I'm getting ready for this hour long trip. I have to take, okay, I'm going to take the highway there, but I have a feeling my mom on the way back is going to ask if we can take the back roads because she's a little squeamish about snow, but I did take the good car. Well, I mean the car with the snow tires, the good winter car. So anyways, going to go do that. And then we're probably going to go to Tanger, which is, I don't know how you pronounce it. It's T-A-N-G-E-R. Tanger? Tanger? Um, outlets in Canada. Um, go to Old Navy. I might go to Bath and Body Works. I always call that Bed Bath and Body Works. Um, that's a real hard one. But uh, yeah, rip Bed Bath me on. Anyways, uh, I want to show you what's out my window right now. This is outside my car window. If you're not from Canada or not from the north, this might look insane. But this is a regular occurrence. This is a snow pile. Look at that car for reference. Look at this great sledding hill that just came up here. Oh, and just another FYI. My mom might not let... What is this? What is this? God damn it. Gotta get out my skincare, my uh, hydrocortisone. <laughs> my mom might not let me record her. She's a awesome French Canadian lady. Uh, you might hear her in the background. I'll just translate whatever she says, whatever, you know, curse words and whatever she says. I'm just kidding. No, she's like very proper. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, damn it. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I did use the Effaclair last night and I think it worked because it, uh, it tingled, you know, like a teenager logic. If it tingles, it works. That sounds weird. Mm. But you know, you used to use the oxy pads and you were like, oh, it hurts like a bitch. It's working. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I used the Effaclair and it seemed to help. Except for that. Uh, did it cause that? I don't know. Should I blame La Roche-Posay? I don't know. I love, I love La Roche-Posay. I, I love La Roche-Posay. What the hell is that? Anyways, <laughs> it's uh, oh, did I wash my face though? I'll do it next time. No, I won't. I probably won't do it. Maybe that's why I got this. Because it says, wash your face. Wa God damn it. Wash your face thoroughly. I didn't wash my face at all. Not even thoroughly. Like, not at all. So maybe that's why I got a red dot. Maybe that's what happens. You don't wash your face thoroughly? Bam. Gotta use hydrocortisone. I don't know. Anyways, see you in a bit.
Okay, so I'm finally taking down my Christmas tree. Um, it's mid-January, and I'm just doing this now. So here is my Christmas tree. It is the candy-themed Christmas tree that I featured in, I think, my first video. Oh, the dog is right down here, and the baby's here. Um, so I'm going to try to take it down with a four-month-old and a dog by my side. Um, I might have to wear the baby or abandoned midship, I don't know. Um, we shall see. So I think the first thing I'm gonna start with is the wreaths because they're kind of like on top of everything else. Um, oh, and by the way, this here is our dining table. So this is the chandelier. Dining table used to be like right here. Um, we had to repurpose the dining table. It is now a changing table for the baby. Um, so it's like smushed over here. We had to smush the tree in here and of course we've got the vacuum over here and the carriage over there so it's a bit hectic i'm going to start with the amazon like wreath thingies and i'm going to put them in reusable bags and then i'm going to put everything in this bin that i put washi tape on and wrote candy christmas on so i know okay like where's my candy christmas stuff it's in the candy Christmas box. So like, look how cute this is. Look at the like, cute little candy canes and the little balls there. That's so cute. Anyway, this is from Amazon. I think it was honestly a little pricey, like $18. But I just really want and I'm gonna keep it for every Christmas from now on, so. Okay, wrap this up. We're gonna put it in reusable Walmart bag because I have quite a few of these. Um, and then throw it in the box. Now we should probably... Okay, so they're like this. So I could even, I don't even have to put this on the tree. Like I could hang this up just across the door frame. It's got little hangers. Okay, what's up next? Probably these. I'm gonna take these down. And then I'm gonna try wrapping them back around the spoolies. This is as good as it's gonna get. I just love this. These were actually kind of expensive. It was two for one, but $16.99. I could have bought like so many teas with $16.99. But I am keeping it and gonna reuse it a lot. Okay, this did not end up as nice. But, I'm doing my best. Okay, so now we have real ornaments. Now, I have a lot of tissue paper that we have not used from Dollarama. So, I figured since these are nice ornaments, I'll wrap them all up. I could have wrapped them up in Kleenex. I feel like this will protect them more. And I have this anyway, like I've got 10, 20, 15 odd sheet. Okay, I mean, do the math, 20, 20, 55 sheets. That's right, right? I don't know, I don't, I don't do the math. Baggy for mini macaroons. So these are the mini macaroons. I got them on Amazon, they're super cute. They came in a box. Don't know where that box went. So, baggy it is. This might take a while. <laughs> Got him. I've got 
a couple of these. I think I'm gonna wrap them together. <gasps> it broke. Oh no, no. And that was, well, it was like a couple dollars, but it was from like the nice Canadian tire section. Aww. Okay, it's okay. I, I saved it. And how fitting. They're red for Christmas. I mean, look how adorable Pop Tarts. Look how adorable those are. Michaels. Look at these. These were Michaels too. Gorgeous macaroons. Love these. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this guy up on his own. Okay, this one gets wrapped up on its own. This is my absolute favorite ornament that I've ever gotten, ever. Um, this is Canadian Tire, I believe canvas brand. How cute is this Starbucks cup? This is so good. I love this one. This one is getting wrapped up on its own for protection. These were Dollarama donuts. I mean, that does not look Dollarama quality. I mean, that looks, these were awesome. I have one from Canadian Tire that I'll show you after that I don't even know if it's as cute as these ones. So this is the Canadian Tire one. And this one was maybe five, six dollars. Is it as cute as the Dollarama ones? I don't know. Oh, I almost forgot about the cotton candy. No one knows what this is. Everyone that comes over looks at this and says, what is that? It's cotton candy, it's candy, it's cotton candy, candy floss, come on. It makes me think of that meme of the raccoon that takes his candy floss and then tries to wash it and then he's like, Where, where'd it go? Because it melts, obviously. Four. Ooh. We've got a birthday cake with a little candy coming out of it. Canadian Tire. We've got two Dollarama gumdrops. I should have got more of these and just like covered the tree in them because I think they were like, so cute. Here. I think they're glass. Ooh. Okay, so I have a ton of Dollarama cupcakes. I'm just gonna put them all in one bag because I mean, they were so cheap and expensive. Cheap, they were cheap. I'm just gonna check them all in a reusable soft shopper's bag. Okay, I don't know what these were supposed to be. They're from Michaels, they're in like the tree, um, not tree, but like floral section. You're supposed to put them inside floral arrangements. But I was like, they kind of look like lollipops. So I'm gonna say they're lollipops. And then we're done. And then my husband can do the takedown because I'm not doing that. I have other stuff to do. Ta-da!
I just dropped my mom off. I'm in the country at a Starbucks rest stop. Yeah, and we had a great time. It was an awesome three days and I'm so glad to have my mom around. And yeah, it was just super nice to have her to help with the baby and it was really awesome. But it's so beautiful outside right now. I just wanted to mention that. I'm gonna try and get a shot of how gorgeous it is. It's minus 18 Celsius, but it is beautiful. So I'm gonna try and get a shot of that. Um, and sorry for the previous shots that were all on my phone. I just, it's kind of weird having your camera out in front of other people. I'm just like not quite used to it yet. So it was easier to just have my phone and like clicking around. And um, I'm so glad I got that best teas mug, even though, yeah, I bought a Valentine's Day best friend thing for myself. It was an awesome mug. Okay. So I'm happy with it. And I got rid of a mug so that I could get the mug because we have so many mugs. Um, yeah. So I'll try to get a shot of the beautiful countryside. Anyways, 